So defeat for Sheffield United, start the inquest. Start the inquest as to who those imposters were in blue and white in the first <laughs> half. Goodness me, what a weird game of football. Uh, credit to Neil Warnock, his greatest ever achievement, ever, 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 until next year. Um, we'll see him back in February, no doubt. Marvellous, though, joking apart. I mean, it's, it's incredible. They were gone. They were dead and buried when he walked through the door. But from a Sheffield United point of view, there wasn't a lot riding on the game at all. Thoughts on what you've watched? Kev, first. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed, to be honest. I mean, it, it was all about Huddersfield, wasn't it? This, It wasn't what we had to do. It was, it was a nothing game for us. And we acquitted ourselves well. We put on a, you know, a decent performance. We, we, had to, we had to play a reasonably strong side with respect to the other sides at the bottom there. Obviously, Reading were involved. Uh, and I think we did that. So they can have no complaints. Rob? Yeah, I think we sat here before, and didn't you just... Uh, asking what sort of Sheffield United you would see and I'd have done exactly the same. You've got to get through the fixture unscathed and uh, you talk about in the tackles. There's your answer, isn't it? Yeah. So. I don't know, it just kind of fizzled out in second half. First half, United were better, no, no question. Second half, I, I still felt the gears were there if they wanted them and you can understand that they didn't click through them. But yeah, I, th I think had we needed to get a point or, or a win out of that, I think as soon as Huddersfield scored, we'd, we'd have just pushed men on, we'd have piled men forward and, and dominated a bit more. But I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip it around. You have to give massive credit for Huddersfield, the way they've approached that second half. Clearly that was their, their game plan all the way through, to contain us for as long as possible and then to really maybe go for it as, when they needed to, whenever that, whenever that happened to be. Because second half, they were at it straight mm. from the first whistle. And they, and they caused us no end of problems as well. I mean, as I said in commentary, I don't think they had any, any particularly <laughs> skillful or tricky players to, to trouble us. And I was completely wrong because uh, the Kazuma or whatever his name is uh, caused us all sorts of problems in that. And then Danny Ward with that finish, I mean, marvellous. Yeah, they call him Lord Ward. This is the goal that won it. If you're going to stay up and you score a goal like this, this is how you do it. Um, it's a fantastic finish, really, isn't it? The way he bends this in. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've no right to score from there, to be honest, have you? That's, that's a one-in-a-season job, isn't it? Yes, Bash has tried to win that mm. from the wrong side, hasn't he? he tried to get his leg in. Usually, you'd, you'd probably back Bash to get something on that, but it's, it's fallen perfectly for Ward on his left foot, and that's a wonderful strike. Yeah, it's a great finish, like you say. Uh, he wheels off, doesn't he? And uh, Warnock, did we, why did we sit here and never <laughs> underestimate Warnock? He just keeps on doing it. And he'll, he'll joke in his press conference post-match, no doubt. Someone will say to him, are you going to stick around for next season? He'll say, no, no, no. I'm just a two-month-of-the-season man now. He'll, he'll go back to Sharon, back down in Cornwall, <laughs> wait for the bat phone to go off, which undoubtedly it will next February. He'll jump off his tractor and go somewhere else. It's just how he is, isn't it? It just keeps on doing it. And we joke and we laugh, and in some respects it is funny because it just keeps doing it yeah. over and over and over again. It's, it's, and putting these young coaches... To shame a lot of the time as so well. It's, it's not a coincidence, is it, that he's able to do yeah. it? So, you know, he has that magic touch. He has that, he has that magic wand that he can come in and, and, and perform miracles at the bottom of the league here. Yeah, he's got a great set of lads. Um, from United's point of view, it's just about getting the, the game against Birmingham out of the way now, isn't it? And if, if anything, it's a bit of a... The, the last a bit of a distraction, really, that they don't need now. They just want to get on with planning for next season. The last they? thing the players want is to go to Birmingham on Bank Holiday Monday. You know, they just, <laughs> they just don't need it. I, 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 ha <clears throat> I fully expect Hecky to play most of the squad that hasn't played this season. So, you know, likes of our Blaster and Brooks <clears throat> and people like that, you might as well play them. There's nothing on the game whatsoever. And we're not doing a disservice to Birmingham or any other team around us because it generally doesn't matter one jot, does it? No, no, not at all. It's a weird one to get up for, that, isn't it? We talked about motivation for this one tonight, and we thought that, you know, with what was riding on it for Huddersfield, it'd give the game an edge. There's literally nothing on Monday. Yeah, Sheffield United's hard work, and it's come before these games, yeah. so you've earned the right to do Absolutely. whatever you have in these last yeah. fixtures. Who cares what side Eki puts out, isn't it? It's party time. Well, me and you, maybe. <laughs> Kev, up for a game, <laughs> kick it out on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, I'd <laughs> happily pull on the red and white. Uh, so there we are. Um, Sheffield United beaten tonight, but they got the job done already. Congratulations to Huddersfield. Commiserations to Reading. We now know who's going down. It's Reading, Blackpool and Wigan. 
But Neil Warnock has done the magic trick yet again. Sheffield United beaten by a goal to nil at Huddersfield. And now we roll on to Monday, get the game out of the way and start planning for the Premier League. From all of us here, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.